Uh, hello, this is the second video on the on the use of the radar trainer software and I'm still with the default scenario here which I'm going to I'm going to just start again load scenario. So here we are with one target. I want to talk about these different display modes that you can have on the on the vessel. Uh, one um, and two, uh, uh, two of them, the course up and the north up, these both require a heading sensor, uh, a magnetic compass, digital electronic compass, usually flux gate type. There are others, however, um, but uh, a, mag a digital compass, which is then wired into the radar, either directly into the radar or through some NEMA 2000 uh, backbone link and uh, so then you have that heading sensor into the data and then and that way the radar knows which way it's going otherwise radar does not know which way it's going which is a default standard type of radar heads up radar uh, these days we really should have a heading sensor they don't cost that much and they're easy to very easy to hook up and it greatly improves your radar performance but as an extra, you have to buy that and plug it in. But so a heads-up mode is a standard mode. That's this one. That's the default mode we're in. And it says up here, heads-up. Um, heads-up. You may, it may actually technically be called head-up. Head-up without a S. I just, oh, well, I guess 30 years now. Just recognize that we have heads-up here. But it um, doesn't matter. Head-up. And that means that's the front of the boat. Like here's our vessel in this view over here. Remember the scan is showing what we're seeing like that. So the vessel's going this way. This is a vessel here. This is a trail of where we've been. And then this is where we're going. And this is the extent of the radar. And, and with this head up mode with no compass, no compass input whatsoever. This is uh, this is just when you look out the right. You look out the window to the right. You're going to see this one land. You look out the window to the left. You're going to see that land. That's the way it is, and that shows right up on the radar. So it is a very intuitive type of display. Um, and if we turn, let's just say, uh, well, let me slow things down here a little bit. I just a reminder here. So here's our speed here. I'm going five knots. Let me just slow down to say three knots. So I'm now going three knots. And where's my speed up here? See, now it's slowed down to three knots. I have to point out something later on here that you can't just randomly change speeds. If you happen to have defined your target as a ship, ship can't just change speeds instantly or turn instantly. So if you're a ship and you turn, it's going to take a while to turn. So that kind of functionality is built into here. But so And let's take this guy here. Let's slow this target down here a little bit too, just for the time being. Or we could delete him. But for now, let's just slow this target down. And so what you do is over here is maneuver. And I could first hit identify. And let's see, that's B. I'm always A. Center vessel is always A. This is B. So I'm going to hit maneuver and hit B. So B is going 8 miles an hour, 8 knots. So I'm going to just change him to 2. Uh, do it. Okay. So he's 2. In fact, I'm going to turn this guy to the right a little bit. Uh, he's, he's decided he wants to go to the right a little bit. So I'm going to maneuver B. And uh, let's see, how do I do that? Turn to course or turn right by, uh, let's say, uh, let's say I'll turn 20 degrees, uh, whoop. turn right by uh, 20 degrees, uh, do it, okay. So that should turn this guy 20 degrees to the right, um, yeah, slightly. Okay, so here we go, now let's come back and uh, discuss what we're going to do. So heads up means this beam, this guy's right on our beam here right now. Uh, uh, right, we're just going by him on the beam. Now if we turn to the right ourselves, let's say 10, 10. So I'm going to turn about 30 degrees to the right. And you see when I turn to the right, this heading on this radar is not going to change. Heading's always going to be straight up on the screen, and this land looks like it rotates in. But in fact, I've turned towards the land, so you see me over here. And I'm headed now in, uh, towards the land, like that. And, um, 
Let's see. So that's a head up mode. Now um, let me let me just start that over again. I want to do something else in head up mode because in head up mode, let's just say we see that target coming in, and I want to know what the bearing to that target is, and I'm in a head up mode. So what I would do is I would turn on the bearing line like that. Whoops, like this and get the bearing to it, which you see is 342, 342R. Now what's my heading? My heading is 344. So I have to go in here and say it's, I'm heading 344, and what was this guy? He's 342 to the right of me. So I go all, I've got to go all the way around here, 342, to, here's, here's 344, and here's 342 like that. So I would go 344, uh, plus 342 equals, so that's 686. So I've wrapped around the circle minus, uh, okay, let me do that. Three, uh, what, what, what was it again? 344 plus 342 equals minus 360 equals. So it's 326. The actual bearing, well, he's changed a little bit, but when he was back here, his bearing, his magnetic bearing was 326. So that's the way you figure the magnetic bearing of the actual bearing of a target if you put your compass on it and measured it, what you would see uh, when you're using uh, heads up. It's all relative, re relative bearings. Relative bearings is in our online, uh, online um, glossary. Now, if we look at the north up mode, let's go back here to the north up mode and see north up see before head up this is the head of the vessel remember that's a ship heading line right there and so uh, and this thing EBL let's turn that off so north is up here so if I turn on the EBL and I go over here you see I can see there's north right but I'm my headings over here now if I put the EBL on this guy in north up I'm going to read what his actual heading is which is down here now it's 313 313 true. These are always, these are, these are true. So remember, relative is relative. So if I'm steering a magnetic course and I have a relative bearing of 150, then my result is going to be, rel is going to be magnetic. But if I'm s steering a true course and, a and then a, I have a relative 150 and I add it, then my result is a true course. So you're, uh, the, rel the result of the bearing is going to be the same as what your ship's heading is. So the, the north up has a very nice feature in the sense that it then looks like what the chart looks like. But when you turn, the, the, this, this, the land's going to stay the same. See, just like, just like the true world over here. If I, tur if I now turn to the right, I'm down here clicking this and I turn to the right some degrees. You see, now I'm, way, I'm driving right into the land here. Uh, I'm driving into the land. Then what's that? Oh, that's the EBL. Okay, I'm driving into the land. You see, like that, and then, and that's it. Way so all the targets and everything else stay in the same place because the radar's got uh, something plugged into it. Now, there's another mode called course up, and let's say this is the actual heading I want to drive. So I want this heading to be. Sort of, I want I want to have a stabilized display where this is all fixed, but I want this to be the top of the, the heads up. I want this to be the top of the screen, so I can go to course up mode. Now, what that did was that forces the whole. Again, this is a mode that requires an input of a heading sensor, a compass sensor. But now, now I've got. I just ran. I chose. I chose myself that when I was on course 34. When I was on course 34, I wanted to call that the, the, heads, the, the top of the radar, like this. Now, if I turn, however, that's, this is just going to stay here at 3-4 till I change it. So if I actually turn the vessel, where's my controls here? If I turn left now, left 10 degrees, you see, that's left 10 degrees, that's over here. Because I've defined a strange mode where this 34 was up north, was at the top of the screen. You see, if I turn on the EBL and go over here, this was back to wherever I set it at, something like 34. You see, 33, 34, something like that. So if I want to now, let's say I come, I want to turn, oh, not this, shut this off. I want to actually turn my vessel all the way over here and go back up the channel, right? I'm going uh, 10 degrees, 
24, 14. Okay, I want to go like that. Now, if I want this to be coarse up, then I have to recenter it. I have to recenter it again, and now it's going to be coarse up. So this is a little bit trickier mode. I think most navigators end up using either north up or or head up and not course up. But anyway, that's that's the way that works. So um, we got the and so then, but this is still a stabilized bearing. I mean, a stabilized display. So if you turn on if you turn on the EBL and you measure the bearing like over to this point of land here, what you're getting out is the actual true bearing. You're getting the true bearing of that land, 220, here. Un yeah, so that's the way that works. So let's go to, let's go back to say north up mode, which um, then your picture looks like the chart. Okay, so maneuvering speed, changing targets. Let me just add one other thing to this video and then we'll, then we'll uh, move on just to introduce the more parts of the program. We can change the targets by uh, here you set vessels like this. And when you click this set vessels, that's where you choose, first of all, the type of vessel you want. This is a little fast maneuverable guy. When, he, when you turn him right, he goes right. When you turn this a little bit larger vessel, he's going to go a little bit slower to the right. He's not going to just spin on his wheel. Like this guy's going to spin right on his center point here. This guy's going to take a while. This one's going to take a lot longer to turn 90 degrees or to slow down because it's a ship. So you choose a type of vessel. Once you put that vessel over here, it's going to be limited by those maneuverings. So here, the green one's always you. For example, suppose I like these targets where they are, but I just want to move myself. So I just drag it over and drop it here, and I'm done, right? So now, let's see my scan, you see. See, now I'm over there. And then you can hit this button down the bottom and center, center on, uh, on that again, like that. So that's the way that is. And if, okay, turn that off. Now if you want to make, a, you want to put some more vessels, let's say you don't want this guy. Well, you could remove all vessels. Let's say you remove all vessels. Okay. So now first you got to choose who you are. Let's say I'm this kind of boat. I'm going to put myself here. Then I want this ship coming up here like this. And, um, okay, let's just say that's all I want. Now I could put another little speedboat up here coming down that way. But now, then, I would have to, uh, okay, done. Now, this is, uh, okay, done. So the first thing I'd want to do is identify, oh, I'm, they're not even in the picture, so I'm going to have to raise the range rings. No, not, I mean, raise the range. Where's the range? Up, 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 okay. Increase the range so I can see these targets. Am I got them big enough? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, but can I identify them here? Let me just see. They won't identify. Oh, yeah. No, they identify even when you can't see them. Okay, that works. Uh, so this guy over here is B, and this guy over here is C. Uh, so B, if I want to set the course of speed, I would say maneuver. Oh, my, my, it looks like my Windows 10 is doing something. Okay, I would hit B. And B has no speed, and then I can just put his speed at, you know, 12 knots, and I can head him in direction like 315, and so do it. So now that guy has a speed, and he's going he's gonna to start moving, and so forth. So that's the way you set the targets, and, um, and so forth. And, uh, and that's all I'm going to do in this video. I'll come back with some more parts later on.